Hey guys, how are we doing? This is Rafael Feliciano from Sizzle Southwest Florida Restaurant Week, which is coming up May 31st to June 13th. Restaurant Week, uh, it's actually presented by Mercedes-Benz this year. And if you guys are anyone that's, uh, that's watching this video, please like, share, comment. We might even give a gift card away, so if you stay tuned and you pay attention, that might be you. Um, restaurant Week, just so you guys know, the reason why we do Restaurant Week is because we want the restaurants to do business during a slow time. And we also want to give the locals a reason to dine out at different restaurants. So for us, we have over 65 uh, restaurants, the best restaurants in Southwest Florida, putting together some of their best meals for a prefix price. This restaurant week is 26 or $36. Uh, that's a three-course dinner. We also introducing lunch this time, which is a two-course lunch for $16 or $21. Not all the restaurants are participating in that because not every restaurant is open for lunch. And probably, I would say, the biggest thing that we've done for this restaurant week is we now have our Sizzle Southwest Florida FGCU Food and Beverage Scholarship. So the number one thing that we hear with restaurants all the time is we need help back of house help, we need front of house help, we need servers, hotels say they need concierges and caterers, and we felt that, you know, with our mission and our, basically, our opportunity that we have here in the food industry to make a difference is to help local high school graduates that are enrolled at FGCU that are interested in the food and beverage or the resort and hospitality program, we would be raising money for them. And the way that we do that is very simple. One dollar from every meal during during restaurant week, when you go out to taste their, their wonderful menus, it's going to go directly to the scholarship. So this year, when you dine, it's, it's serving a purpose using the hashtag dine with purpose. And um, we are here today with Gather in Cape Coral with Chef Fabrice, how are you doing? We doing? Good, good, good to see you. Awesome. So this is now your second time Correct. participating in Restaurant Week. Correct. And the first one was post our post our post Irma Restaurant Week, which mm -hmm. that was tough for everyone. But um, how? Well, you know what? Even before we talk about that, tell us a little about Gather. Tell us a little bit about yourself and your experience. Good. Yeah, I'm Chef Fabrice. I'm the chef at uh, Gather, also at Fathoms and uh, Black Salt Culinary. Uh, we opened Gather uh, close to six months ago already, and it's been uh, fantastic. You know, uh, we had a great crowd coming in. You know, with the reputation of Fathoms already, we had a lot of clientele uh, come to try out, and word of mouth, and then the restaurant is just booming, and it's been great. What inspired you and your your restaurant group to open a second restaurant? Well, we already had Fathoms and uh, the French Press, our coffee shop. And, you know, we started Black Salt Canary a couple, a couple uh, years ago, and we found that location. And again, you know, we on the marina, just like Fathoms, uh, it was just a perfect location, beautiful. That place was uh, ready uh, for something new, and uh, we came uh, and did it. You guys have a, a real keen eye for finding beautiful locations. We're lucky. Yeah. We're all really lucky, and, and we love what we do. Um, we see an opportunity, and uh, if we think that's going to be worth it, we, we're going to do it. Is, what would be the difference between Fathoms and Gather and, and their type of cuisine that when you went to experience their restaurants? It's a, it's, Gather is just much, much uh, smaller places. Uh, we try to strive on to craft cocktails. So we, like I said, we have a nice, beautiful bar where the, the, the bartender do some fantastic craft cocktails. Um, I mean, you should see those guys on, on, on regular nights. You know, they speed fire, flip bottles and stuff like this. It's, it's just fantastic. Um, being a smaller place, we able to uh, do a lot of different special and you know play a little more with uh, with detail and stuff like this. And then uh, it's 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 just you know it's just different than Fathoms. It's it's really different as far as uh, the whole concept. Do is there um, future concepts coming up or is that under is that shh? Uh, so right now you know we you know like I say it's been six months and we really want to get started you know pay a uh, good focus on this place Fathoms is doing great uh, Fathoms is a, is, a, is, a, is a machine that you know run well and everything so uh, this one's been uh, working great for six months so we're just gonna keep uh, focusing on on this one and uh, the coffee shop and the catering company and we'll know we'll, we'll see in the future you know all right well awesome well we're here for the food we're here for your three course menu um, it's a three-course menu starting at $36. We do have some of the options here. So if we were to come, if I were to dine during restaurant week, where would I start? Where well, would I start? you got different things that's on the menu here. And then, it's a, like I said, the, the, the restaurant week is a great thing that you guys do, especially for people that want to try it 
a little bit of everything. Yeah. Uh, Flavor-wise, texture-wise, it, it's just perfect. Uh, one of the salads that we do here at Gather, it's a beautiful burrata salad. Uh, fresh burrata with some uh, fresh watermelon, heirloom tomato that uh, we get locally uh, from uh, Imokali, from Ox Farm. That's our produce provider. How important is the local sourcing these days for it, a restaurant? It is important because we, uh, you know, especially Fathoms and Gather, and all the, we try to stay local, make work other company, other uh, produce people, uh, meat. You know, we, we buy uh, seafood from a local place in uh, Fort Myer. So it's important that we make everybody, you know, uh, combine together and then have a perfect relationship with uh, food and restaurant. And, and, you know, the provider. So like I said, we have beautiful burrata salad, heirloom tomatoes, some arugula. We do a homemade uh, mint arugula pesto that's right under it. Uh, a little bit of organic uh, Chilean olive oil, uh, some uh, beautiful serrano ham. Uh, the beauty of that thing is uh, very refreshing. It's uh, Like you can see, the uh, burrata is ex extremely creamy. The mint pesto just bring a different flavor rather than just a regular, you know, basil and pine nuts and stuff like that. So it's a really uh, summery, refreshing <laughs> dish, you know. It's, it's just great. Mm. Just great on this one. Mm. I can't even talk. <laughs> good, uh, good, awesome. Good. Uh, That's delicious. That's the delicious. The other one over there is also one of a good seller here. A little bit different. Uh, our crispy duck wings. Um, they are tossed in a beautiful crispy duck, duck wings. wings. Why yeah. is it called crispy duck wings? Well, we use little uh, duck drumet uh, that we uh, slightly uh, deep fry just to get the outer skin nice and crispy. Uh, it is tossed in a cilantro chipotle mango glaze. After that, wow. so you get a little bit of sweetness and a little bit of heat. Uh, it's just you know great little starter as well. Uh, different than you know other places where you can get just uh, regular chicken wings and stuff like this. We just wanted to have something similar, but with a little bit uh, higher standard, something different than people cannot get anywhere. So you say a little bit of sweet, a little bit of heat. Mm -hmm. Wh what's your background? Where does how does your background influence some of the menu items? Well, myself uh, and my partner Chef Ben, we both uh, born and raised in France. Uh, I've been in the U.S. for uh, almost 16 years now. And one thing that we like to do is uh, be able to incorporate uh, a lot of different flavor from all around the world. Um, as you can see, our menu here and our menu from Fathoms, you know, uh, having two That's French... That's delicious. It's good stuff, right? <laughs> having two French chefs doesn't mean that you're going to have only French food, you know, and stuff like this. So we try to do Asian, we try to do uh, Peruvian. Chef Ben made a beautiful uh, ceviche for tonight uh, using uh, snapper and mai and all that good stuff. Uh, so. Everything we do is, is we try to strive for different flavor, different thing. You know, Chef Ben uh, worked in Spain for seven years. Oh, wow. Uh, at That's awesome. Under, you know, great chef in France and some uh, Asian chef as well here in the U.S. and stuff like this. So we really strive to, to, to get different things. Yeah, you try, so you're trying to merge all your cultures into what you what your, your menu is. Correct, correct. It's something that we do here. We do everything from scratch. Uh, everything is made in-house, all the dressing. We do our fresh pasta, and that's one of the next dishes that we have here. It's the beautiful uh, lamb uh, meatball. So that main limb meatball is made with uh, ground lamb, fresh uh, herbs, and goat cheese, and we you know, hand roll them, each of them, and bake them in the oven. They are served with beautiful uh, homemade uh, fresh eggs fettuccinis. Uh, and a uh, homemade um, roasted tomato sauce. And uh, again, on the open. top, a little bit of that uh, mint arugula pesto. You know, lamb and meat go gr great together. So it's just a perfect combination. And that's something definitely that you won't find anywhere else. Now, would you say that pasta is, is a big seller here? It is, it is. I mean, we, the pasta we have is on that dish. Uh, we also have another dish on the menu. Uh, we do a beautiful seafood pasta with shrimp, clams, scallops, uh, calamari, and we do a, a beautiful saffron cream sauce that go with it, and that, that's one of the, the sellers. But the, the good thing about that whole menu, and I'll, I'll talk about you know, both restaurants, Fathoms, looking at sales, you'll see that everything sells. Pretty much the same. Pretty so even, good. pretty even pretty across even, the board. You know, you, you have staff, of course, that people like and come back for it. But uh, everything sells very well, and people are happy with what we do. Uh, we always strive to to ask for uh, for feedback. Do you like that? You know, we do daily special at both vacation all the time. Yeah. And um, um, you know, when people really like something, we you know listen to our guests and we'll put it on the menu for the next season. 
we change our menu three times a year. Oh, that's and perfect. So that's all. That's, that's what you need. That, that people want to see new things. You no, know, they don't want to come to the same place and over and over get the same thing over and over. Yeah, you want to change it up. You want to adapt. We think we say it all the time. I think the most important thing with Southwest Florida and kind of what we're going through right here in this culinary change where food is becoming so important. It's the restaurants that are adapting, mm -hmm. that are changing their menus. They're incorporating new products. They're having a little fun. They're going a little bit off the edge a little bit because when you see other cities close to us, Miami, Fort Lauderdale, you know, Jacksonville, Daytona, these places are, they're experimenting. They're, they're kind of listening to the people that are coming in rather than saying, this is our menu mm -hmm. and this is what it's going to be. I mean, this is the whole fun about being a chef and then, you know, work with uh, talented people. Uh, you get a change, you know, you have to have to change. Uh, at Fathoms, we do uh, once a month a beautiful uh, seven course with wine pairing dinner uh, where we really elevate um, you know, the food and it's a really uh, fine dining. We just did one uh, last Monday. It's a nice, beautiful table with uh, up to 20 people and uh, seven courses with beautiful wine, beautiful food. And that's the great uh, opportunity for me, Ben, and uh, our crew to uh, experience new things, try new things, and make people try stuff that they never tried before. Yeah, and if you guys are just tuning in, um, please like, share this video, let us know that you're here, ask any questions for Chef Fabrice or for me about Restaurant Week. We're doing this because Restaurant Week is in 29 days. It starts May 31st, uh, ends June 13th, and it's three-course dinners, two-course lunches, and one dollar from every single meal goes to the Sizzle Southwest Florida Scholarship Fund. And we're here with Chef Fabrice over here at Gather, and we're going through their Restaurant Week menu. So next up, we've already went through this, which was beautiful, lamb beautiful a lamb meatball. A meatball. Yeah, there's goat cheese inside. Now tell us... So this one Tell here, us about this colorful. That's, that's also one of the a good signature dish here at Fathom's, our pan roasted snapper. Uh, it's served over a beautiful bamboo rice that we cook in green tea. Okay, so, so something the rice is cooked in, in green, green tea. tea. Correct, correct. Bamboo rice is actually uh, you know green uh, when we start cooking it, but we steam it in green tea just to get that nice flavor. Uh, the, the, the fish that we get locally as well is pan roasted, and it's served with a beautiful um, coconut curry broth. Uh, and then right on the top, it's a coconut, coconut curry broth. broth. Correct. And right on the top. Said that looks good. Yep. And you right on the top of it, it's our uh, tomato compote. So nicely diced tomato that we cooked with fresh thyme, a little bit of sugar, and then we just let simmer for a couple hours and uh, get a beautiful uh, texture like a marmalade. So if you get, grab a bite, you know, get all the curry, the coconut, the rice, it's, it's just phenomenal. That looks delicious. That looks, and we also see that you guys have beautiful plates. Yes, that's something that you know myself and, and Chef Ben we really big into it. Is 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 you got to have something pretty in front of you first. You know, it's a, it's a very artistic. Uh, green tea, right? I'm green sorry, tea, yeah, I didn't mean to tea. cut you. Off. <laughs> that's fine. Um, you're gonna you know you're gonna eat with your eyes first, uh, and then of course you want to make sure that what you see is gonna be tasting as good as what what it looks. So. Um, both places, we really strive to have something that bring the product, the protein, the vegetable um, into something uh, beautiful for your eyes first. And then after that, you know, you, the taste of it after that. It's we, just we absolutely agree. When we first started Restaurant Week, it was winter 2015. We had no pictures. Mm -hmm. It was all stock photos. And then we, ch we eventually transitioned to real photos, um, now videos. And we understand that people want to see what they're going to eat so when you go to a, men, a restaurant and we've we've seen your menu when you go to a restaurant and it's a lot of words it's very heavy verbiage that kind of scares some people it might be confusing for some people because you know especially when you got two french guys putting special and stuff like <laughs> it you, you might have words that, that that you have no idea what it is two like french a, guys sounds like yeah. a restaurant by the way yeah yeah that could be that, that could be uh, the next one that could be the next one uh, but sometimes there is pronunciation that might be different because something from a different country and stuff like this. So we try to educate our server, our bartender, uh, to, to make sure that they know how to pronounce it, what it is. So we, you know, every day prior lunch or prior dinner, we have a nice little gathering with all those guys where they can try the food, test it, see what it is and stuff like this. But it's, it's, it's important that, you know, you, you, you educate people uh, the right way to make sure they're aware of what they're selling, you know. So, yeah. When the guest, the, the guest uh, asks question, then it's uh, easy for them to, uh, to answer it. Yeah. All right, so we've gone through some appetizers. We've gone through some entrees. Yep. Now we're going to get to 
which is mostly dessert. everyone's favorite. Yeah, a little bit dessert here. Oh yeah, uh, talk about it's that. It's beautiful Grand Marnier uh, chocolate mousse. So that recipe here is a classic, uh, you know, Grandma uh, recipe from France. You know, it's, so it's Grand a, Marnier. Grand Marnier, so nice orange. Yeah, liquor, yeah, yeah. The uh, chocolate mousse. So it's a handmade, you know, melted chocolate and then whipped the, the whipped cream and Grand Marnier in there. So it's not kid friendly. Okay, because it's got a little bit of uh, extra uh, on it, but it, it, it's phenomenal. So we will be featuring that on our Restaurant Week uh, menu as well as a beautiful the, key lime pie. Oh, look, a key lime pie. What's the best way to eat this? Do you eat this first? Uh, that's a little garnish, so yes, you can. I mean, there's something like this, but uh, we'll get you a couple spoon. Um, well, we don't have spoon or here, fork. but we'll that's fine. Yeah, we'll get you a couple fork. So we're about to I taste this. There's no way I come this far and I and I don't pass this up. <laughs> so this one, this one, you know, it's, it's right, something, here we go. something that uh, people always like because we get really that good bite of orange liquor into it, oh. and uh, the texture is really creamy. It's very hairy. You know, you, you can see it's folded nicely. It, it's, it's just phenomenal, phenomenal. No comment, huh? <laughs> that mousse is so fluffy. Yeah. Excuse me. And soft. Yeah. Egg white, you know, that we bring to a close to a meringue and then uh, add the egg yolk to the chocolate, the Grand Marnier, uh, and just fold it. In-house, in made in-house. All that made in-house. You know, again, I'll go back to the fun of cooking and being a chef and stuff like this. There is so many... Uh, New product now. When you go to food shows and stuff like this, they, you know, I always use the same quote when I go to one of those food shows that they they really taking the fun out of cooking, and and you go over there and you got pre-made this, pre-made that, you know, cook it from the bag and stuff like this. Why? Yeah. You know, it, 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 what's the point? It's uh, the melted chocolate, a little bit of uh, eggs, uh, some gramani. It's easy. So it's uh, something that. You know, it's, easy. <laughs> it's easy. He said that's easy. Okay. <laughs> it's, uh, it's no rocket science. You know what else is easy? Ordering. That's Absolutely. what I'm really good yeah. at. <laughs> good, well, that's that's what we need. Well, we appreciate you know this this awesome tour basically of your Restaurant Week menu. Um, what can people expect on the other items that's not featured here? A lot of different things. I mean, you know, the menu uh, there's a lot of choice for everybody. Uh, if you want meat, you know, we got beautiful uh, flat iron steak on the menu, uh, steak frites style with French fry and nice uh, chimichurri butter. Uh, we serve a beautiful leg of calamari, uh, octopus, sorry, that we grill nicely. That's on your restaurant menu? Not on the restaurant menu. Oh, it's just on your menu. menu. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah perfect. Together. But together. see, the idea is you come in here, you've never been here before, you get to experience gather for the first time through the restaurant week menu, mm -hmm. and then you and then know you that it's good, you know the quality is great, and you get to come back and try the octopus and other Definitely items. all the stuff. And not only that, but the cocktail as well, because like I say, you know, those guys really do a, a, a terrific job with cocktails and and, and and different variety of flavor, you know, the smoke drink, they, 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 it's, it's just unreal. You yeah. know, it's really, really unbelievable what they do. Make sure, you know, people check us out on, 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 on Facebook and all that good stuff, you know. Like I said, we did a beautiful uh, prohibition party uh, last week uh, where everybody was dressing up in the 1920s and, you know, it, you got to do stuff like that, especially we're getting into summer, you know, people are leaving, there's less people. We're going to try to take a little more creative, local, a little get more creative, fun. fun, do events, things that are going to lure people to come to see us and have fun. Awesome. Well, guys, thank you guys so much. This is Raphael with um, Sizzle Sapos for the Restaurant Week, May 31st, June 13th. Wrapping this up, we are here again with Chef Fabrice of uh, Gather and Fathom's Restaurant here in Cape Coral, taking a look at their three-course menu. And I'll be honest with you, Chef, we're going to eat. This is what I'm going to do. Uh, enjoy yourself. Awesome. Thank you guys so <laughs> thank much. Thank you very much. Thanks.